Welcome back. Today we'll be talking about gold stones. We'll talk about the risk factors, the symptoms, and the diagnosing criteria. To remember the most common risk factors for gold stones, remember the four Fs. These are females, fat, fertile, and 40. Rapid weight loss in very short period of time also results in stasis, which predisposes to gold stones. Oral contraceptive pills also predisposes to gallstones, in which estrogen will increase the, co the concentration of cholesterol in gallbladder, and this will increase the risk of gallstones, and progesterone will decrease gallbladder motility, which will increase the risk of gallstones. If you get a question asking about the risk factors for gallstones in your step 1 exam, most of the time you're going to find the answer in this page. In the gallbladder, we have cholesterol, which is predisposing for gallstones. We also have protective substances against gallbladder stones, and these are bile and phosphatidylcholine. If the gallstone obstructs the flow of bile from the gallbladder, it will result in right upper quadrant abdominal pain, which is progressive and colky in nature. Sometimes you also see shoulder pain in the right side due to irritation of the phrenic nerve. You might also see jaundice, fever, or not germ vomiting. The two major categories for gallbladder stones are either cholesterol stones or pigmented stones. Cholesterol stones being the radiolucent type and pigmented stones being the radio-opaque types. Cholesterol stones obviously have a lot of cholesterol and pigmented stones have hemolyzed blood. Here are the signs that we'll see in the ultrasound. So first we'll see a thick gallbladder wall, usually because of inflammation, and sometimes you can see the stone, and you can also see the shadow behind the stone. If a gallbladder stone persists for a long time, it's going to result in inflammation of the gallbladder, and if the inflammation is further ignored, it's going to cause fistula between the gallbladder lumen and the small intestinal lumen. This allows stone to pass from the gallbladder directly to the small intestine. And if we have a stone larger than 2.5 cm, it can actually block the ileocecal valve. You can see the stone at the ileocecal valve with posterior dilation and obstruction signs of the small intestine. And you'll also see air in the biliary tree. To treat gallstones, medically we can use orso deoxycholic acid which causes decrease in cholesterol concentration in the gallbladder and thus decreases the gallstone occurrence. However, the medical treatment is not proven to decrease morbidity or mortality. And the preferred treatment for gallbladder stones is surgical cholecystectomy. Usually we perform cholecystectomy in the same admission that the patient came in with the symptoms. Unless if the symptoms persisted for more than three days. Because after three days, the gallbladder will be highly inflamed and the risk factor for surgery will increase drastically. And here's a small quiz for you. So what's the percentage of pigmented gallstones and the percentage of cholesterol gallstones? And what are the signs that we see in the ultrasound? Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you guys around.